let's try and tidy up these labels a little bit. To do this, I'll double click on the layer. I'll make sure I'm on the label section and then formatting. And what I need to look at here is wrap lines to. And if I hit the up button and I go to 10 characters, what's going to happen is any name that's longer than 10 characters will be wrapped into multiple lines. When I hit apply, you'll see what this does. So that's going to be quite useful. This is very useful in this kind of situation and I'll click OK. The next thing I can do to tidy things up a bit more and I recommend you try this is using the labeling toolbar. If you don't see it, go to view toolbars and then label toolbar. Mine's already active, so I'm just going to click on the move labels button. And when you first click a label, you'll get a pop up. Just click OK. And then you can manually move labels around. And this can be really useful in these kinds of situations. Sometimes, you know, labeling is just never going to be perfect, but you can certainly make it a lot better. And if you have a situation like this Hammersmith and Fulham one, if it's not aligned in the center, you can double click and where it says alignment in labels formatting and then alignment. If you choose center, let me move this over a bit. When I hit apply, they'll be formatted in the center. I could probably improve this a bit by changing the font size to about eight and then hitting okay. And then I can move things around a little bit more, but it's hard to get it perfect sometimes, but with these techniques, you can certainly make major improvements to your labels quite quickly in QGIS. So hopefully you'll find that useful in your own work.